episode of the Riff Rundown. My name is Angela Petrilli. I am here with my friends at Fishman for a brand new episode. Today's episode is pre-recorded. Don't worry, we're still going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to be learning Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Such a beautiful acoustic tune. I love playing this one. Very beginner friendly too. Intermediates, advanced. There's something for all of us here, but beginners, don't worry. This is one that you can absolutely play to. So I encourage you to stick around and play with us. So get your acoustic guitar in standard tuning. We're gonna need a standard tuned guitar today. Capo at the seventh, or seventh fret, second fret. We're live folks, second fret two, second fret of the guitar, okay? So make sure it's, it's, it's nice and straight. We don't want any capos that are, you know, twisted or diagonal. We don't want any of that. Nice and straight capo there, second fret of that guitar. So again, always great having you guys here. If you're enjoying the lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause. And if you want to check out all the cool Fishman gear that I use in these lessons, there's a link in the video description below. So those of you who have been watching these lessons for the past two years, you know I like to ask a question. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite sad song. So where are you tuning in from and your favorite sad song? Again, today's episode is pre-recorded, but don't worry. Put your questions in the comment section and all that good stuff, and I will get to as many of those as I can when I am back. So here we are. Here is Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. song here my beginners you can play this too so stick around with us so let's go ahead and look at the intro so the intro here we're covering a ton of ground because a lot of these chords and stuff that we play we're gonna see in the verses too so covering a lot of ground here so I'm gonna play that just a little bit slower than I did at the top so here's the intro That's what's happening there. So let's go ahead and look at the first chord here. It's going to be based off of a C major seven. I love a major seven chord. They're beautiful, beautiful chords. So it's going to look like this. Place your thumb. Okay, we're going to talk about the, the, the strumming hand first. Place your thumb on the A string. Place your third finger on the B string and place your or your second finger. Second finger. Yeah, second finger on the B string. First finger, pointer finger on that G string. Okay, so like this. So like that. So I've got a C chord here. And what we want to do is we want to just slightly pinch these strings. We don't want to be too aggressive here, just slightly pinch them, then release. Let's go ahead and do this with a C chord just for a second here. That's the that's the feel, all right, and the texture that we want. Now, when we're starting this intro, it's actually going to be a C major seven. So all that is, is we got our C chord. And we're just going to lift that first finger up. Okay. So that'll sound like this. Beautiful chord. Love it. Okay. So. And you're going to hammer on that first finger back to play that C. And then you're going to lift it back up. Going back to 
that C major 7. And notice how I'm only striking this one time. Just like that. Now, I'm sure you noticed too, my pinky finger. I have it like a little kickstand on the pick guard. Some folks do not like to do that and they like to have the hand a bit more free floating. For me, I like to have that little bit of foundation when I'm finger picking things uh, in songs on the guitar. So I like to have that there when I'm finger picking songs. Um, I'll leave that up to you, what feels comfortable for you, but this is what's comfortable for me. All right, so let's go back, C major seven, C, C major seven. Okay, just like that, do that one more time. The next chord we're gonna play is a G and it's gonna sound like this. going to do here. So this G chord, second finger on the second fret, of, or third fret rather, of that E string. That's our G note. Again, in accordance to the capo, because you have a capo with the second, second fret, okay? Third finger on the third fret, that B string. And what you're going to do here, keeping that first finger on the G string, your middle finger on the B string, and your thumb on the low E. Same thing. Squeeze slightly, then release. Okay? And then pluck the B string and the G string in that order. So now in context with the C major seven riff. Let's do that again. too bad. Beginners, I know we're, we're pre-recorded today, but please let me know how you're doing in, in, in the live chat. I'd love, I'd love to know, okay? You can do this. So we've got that. Now we're going to slide up to this chord here. So it's going to be kind of an E minor chord. So we've got this G here. I want you to slide your third finger. Watch. I'm not lifting it. I'm sliding it to the eighth fret of the B string in accordance to the capo. First finger, we're gonna place that on the seventh fret of the A string. So that should sound like this, those two notes. Okay? We're also going to include that open G string. So, same thing where we kind of pinch and release. Just like that, okay? And again, the target notes for an E minor, it's gonna be E, G, and B, all right? So, that's what we're looking for there. Again, thumb on the A string. We're talking about our strumming hand. Thumb on the A string, second finger on the B string, first finger on the G string. Just like that, okay? And we're only gonna strike that. We're not gonna do anything else with that chord for right now. Now what I want you to do for our D chord, which is next, first finger, slide it back to the fifth fret in accordance to the capo, okay? We're gonna get our fourth finger. We're gonna place that on the seventh fret of the B string, B as in boy, strike the A string. Now we're talking about our, our, our strumming hand here. Thumb on the A string, first finger on the G string, second finger on the B string, pinch, release, and then B string, G string. Okay, so again, that move sounds like this. We'll do it a few times. And if we get some of those ringing strings, it's totally okay. It adds to the vibe of the song. I think it's it's such a such a beautifully composed song. It's great. Okay, a little ominous. It's beautiful. Okay, from the E minor. Let's go ahead and do that a few times. Top. And again, if you're enjoying these lessons, folks, click that like button. It sure does help the cause. And if you like to subscribe to the channel and tell a friend, I love that too. That helps the cause too. So here we go from the top.
So just like that, on the original, that's gonna be repeated only twice. After that section is repeated two times, this is what's going to be played. Slight variation of what we're doing, okay? And I'll play it nice and slowly here and then we'll talk it through. So notice we're expanding on those last two chords, that E minor and that D chord. So we're gonna do here, okay? We're gonna play this E minor slightly differently than when we did the first time. So our first finger, Still going to be on the seventh fret of the A string again in accordance to the capo, okay? Well, we're going to vary here, okay? Second finger. We're going to put that on the eighth fret of the B string, okay? So it's still going to sound the same, okay? With that open G string too. We're going to pluck it the same way that we did earlier. But notice my pinky is going to play the tenth fret in accordance to the capo of that B string. Notice here how the hand is very well balanced. Also notice you cannot see my thumb. See when I bring it up, how my hand kind of shrivels a little bit? We don't want that. We want to drop the palm, drop that wrist, keep it nice and open, allowing the fingers in that hand to stretch, okay? So the riff sounds like this. And we're only striking that note that's on that B string from the 10th fret to the eighth fret and then so the 8th fret, 10th fret, back to the 8th fret. Just like that, okay? So let's do that in context with the C and the G. Let's do this a few more times here, nice and slowly. Last time. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is this riff. So beautiful, right? Such a great riff. So we're going to do here, bringing that first finger back okay, to the fifth fret, accordance to the capo, the A string, fourth finger here, seventh fret of the B string, B as in boy. You're going to strike them the same way okay, that we did at the top. Bringing that pinky to the 8th fret of the B string. Then back to the 7th fret. All right, just like that. So let's just do that by itself. And again, hear those open strings. It's a good thing. Brings a little bit of body to the riff. Quite beautiful. All right. So, let's do that one more time. Very nice, right? Not too bad, not too bad. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comments, all right? From the very top, okay? So this is the second half of that intro, here we go. What we would do after this is we would then pl play the phrase from the first part of the intro only one time. So that would sound like this. I'll play it just a little bit faster. Here we go. Guess what? Same thing. So that phrase. 
bass continues on in the verse, continues on and continues on. So beautiful. And again, those chords there, if that's a little tough for you, like, oh gosh, I, I, I don't know, that's a, that's a little tough to do all this finger picking stuff right now. No problem. You can just strum the chords. It's C, G, E minor to D. And those are the chords. Which then leads us to our chorus. So our chorus sounds like this. I'm going to play through it nice and slowly here, all right? So that sounds like this. That's what's happening there. Again, very beginner friendly chords here. The strumming pattern, very easy here too. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's it, okay? So let's talk about those chords and the chords that we're playing here. So that first one is gonna be C, all right? And again, I'm gonna play through it here. First finger, first fret of that B string. Second finger, second fret of the D string. Third finger, third fret of the A string. So again, I'm talking in accordance to the capo here. Do I know in actuality that this is a D chord? Yes. But to keep things nice and easy, okay, we're going to say in accordance to the capo, so C chord. Our target notes for a C chord, C, E, and G. All right. And again, this is a down, down, up, up, down, up. And that would sound like this on C. Okay. Pretty easy, pretty simple. From there, we're gonna to go to a G chord. I like to play this version of G where I have my third finger on the third fret of the B string, which would be a D note, uh, and my, my pinky finger there on the third fret of high E. That's how I like to play a G chord most times. That's how I'm gonna to choose to play it today. I know some of us have different variations of this chord. Play the G chord that you like. This is the one that I like, so I'm gonna play that one today. So again, same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Something else I want to mention here too, I'm not using a pick today. <laughs> I'm not using a pick today. So if say you wanted to use a pick for the choruses, I've got one right here, uh, you could just place it on your lap and then when the chorus comes, you can just grab it real quick and then use, use the pick or plectrum, wherever you are from in the world. Um, so you can have that pick there if you'd like. For me, I don't know, I just, it's, it's easy to not have a pick. I feel like I use a pick all the time when I play guitar and sometimes it's kind of nice if I don't have to, so totally up to you. Uh, so that G chord is there, just something I wanted to mention. So the next chord is gonna be an E minor, again for a minor chord, bit of theory here, one flat three five, that is the formula to make it in this case with the key, or with the chord of E minor, rather we have an E, G, and B. Second finger, second fret of the A string, that would be that would be a B note if we weren't capoed, right? And then second finger, second fret of the D string, which would be an E. So you're gonna strum everything here again, down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's try it. And then we go to a D major after that. So again, D, F sharp, A are our target notes here for D major. Same strumming pattern, you guessed it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So here we go. So just like that, all right? So this is going to repeat two times. C, G, E minor, D, repeated twice. Let's go ahead and do it together here. Here we go. repeats twice. From there, we're going to do this. So notice what that C 
chord. We've got three chords here, C, E minor, and D major. C, we're just gonna strum downward twice. And then for E minor, up, up, down, up. And then with our D major chord, we're gonna continue on as usual, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that will sound like this, nice and slowly here. Here we go, follow along. We're gonna repeat this two more times. After that, that section of C, E minor, and D is repeated twice. Then we go to this. So we go C, C, down, down, strum. Then we go to D, up, up, down, up. Then from there, go back to the intro. All right. So in context, I'm going to go ahead and play the entire chorus here. I'll play it just a little bit slower than it is on the record. So play along if you'd like. And also, too, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to subscribe. It really does help the cause, and these it helps spread the word about these lessons and help all the guitar players all around the world. So I would so, so appreciate the support. Again, if you want to check out all the cool Fishman gear that I use on these lessons, including that silver box I always talk about, the R Spectrum DI, be sure to click the link in the video description. And I've got some new music out, folks. I got an EP called The Voices by my band, Angela Petrilli and the Players. It's everywhere you stream music. And for those of you who want to help out indie musicians like me, and you can go ahead and, and buy it on Bandcamp. I, I, I went ahead and made sure that I, I put the highest quality <laughs> sounding EP up on Bandcamp. So if you want to download it and buy it, I'd really appreciate it. I'll put, a, I'll put the link in the, in the video too so you guys can check it out. But we're really, really proud of it. It's, a, it's fun. And if you're in Nashville, I'll be uh, playing with my band uh, the end of June. So we'll be there the week of June 20th, 2023. So if you're in town, be sure to say hello. We'd love to see ya. All right. So here we go from the chorus, a little bit slower than the record. Sounds like this. Here we go. Follow along. It's a really, again, a very, very beautiful song to play. My beginners, it's not too bad. So like I say in all these lessons, you can't play anything fast, you can't play slow. 
So really, really take your time with this. This song is so well worth it and it's so beautiful. And the picking pattern itself, not terribly difficult. Not terribly difficult. This is something you could totally do, all right? So here's what we're gonna do here. Let's go through most of this tune. Cause again, those are, the, those are all the parts of the song. We've already covered them. So what I'd like to do for the remaining minutes of this live lesson is to go through each section together, all right? So we're gonna start off with that intro, part one. We're gonna repeat twice. Part two of that intro repeated once and then part one is repeated once again. And we're gonna go into a verse for a bit, okay? And then another intro riff there. All that intro riff is just the first part of the, the intro riff, okay? So that's in between those verses. Then we're gonna go into a chorus and I'll call out all these parts, all right? So here we go. From the very, very top, I'll play it just a little bit slower. The intro, here we go. song. Again, always such an honor to, to hang out with you guys and to spend a little bit of my afternoon every week teaching you guys how to play some of my favorite songs. As always, wishing you so much success in your musical journeys. Again, if you're in Nashville, I'm going to be bringing some friends along to play some music the week of June 20th, 2023. So if you're in town, we'd love to see you. So be sure to check my website for tickets and all that good stuff and see where we'll be playing. As always, hope you guys had a lot of fun. Let us know how it's going with your playing. And folks, 